What is up, guys? Jamie, aka Otamatan, Kazoku no Otakus, and today I am here to actually review a manga series which just ran its completed run. Forget Me Not. That's right. Um, Forget Me Not is a seven volume set, uh, so it's seven volumes to completion. Uh, the story is by Mog Hu uh, Su, I believe is how it's pronounced. Uh, the manga itself is by Naoimoto, as you can see there in the corner. And we'll just go through the covers and the backs real quick. Just to show you guys what we're looking at. Now, obviously, this is only a seven-volume uh, set, so I wasn't too, uh, too concerned about time constraints of having to go through the backs and fronts of everyone. And if you're trying to read the back of these as I'm showing it, don't bother. Um... I plan on giving you all a synopsis. This is a review after all. So, yeah. I was waiting for the series to complete. As you can see there, though, I'll take a quick sec to show you. Uh, these are 1099 uh, volumes. Uh, it is for older teen, uh, which is 16 plus, And it's published by Kodansha Comics. As seen there on the side as well as back here. So, yeah. Let's see. Give me just a sec, guys. Okay, there we go. This should be a little better. Okay. So, here's four. <laughs> Forgetting my own shit. Five. There's no need for that. Siri. Six. Here we've got volume 7. And this was the final volume here. As you see there, final volume. Right there. Which was uh, very surprising to me, as I had no idea. Um, but yeah, as I said before, this is a 7 volume set. You guys can see they are color coded. Uh, pink, light blue, red, uh, kind of a teal greenish uh, purple. Uh, that is a hot pink kind of like uh, darker pink color and a finally a blue volume. Um, but yeah, so forget me not is the review docket today. So let's talk about that a little bit. Uh, forget me not is the tale of Yusuke Serizawa. Uh, after falling asleep at work, Serizawa dreams of a past love he wronged. Premonition being what it is, of course. On the way home, he gets into an accident. Luckily, someone nearby happens to see and calls an ambulance for him, but not before taking his phone number down. Fortunately for him, the per she, the person who took his phone number, happens to be someone with whom he has a connection from the past. Unfortunately for him, he can't seem to figure out her identity. So to solve the mystery, Sarazawa thinks back over all of the women he's loved in the past in order to figure out the one who re-entered his life. Um, it's based on a Taiwanese novel called Mazimen by Zhu Ting Su. Uh, Forget Me Not is the English name, uh, and it's a tale spanning seven manga volumes that also spawned a live-action TV drama. Uh, a bittersweet tale of romance and regret that's relatable on many personal levels. Forget Me Not is a breath of fresh air to the staling romance genre of late. Uh, unlike traditional romance tales of this genre, Forget Me Not's protagonist is almost unbearably unremarkable. He's not a bad guy, he's just a very normal one. Average grades, average looks, nothing particularly special about him. Uh, he's just an average person, and honestly, that's what makes this series so great. Uh, anime and manga tend to have MCs that fit into some special category, but Sarazawa himself feels abundantly normalized. He worries about real-world problems. He's a poster child for slice-of-life manga, without a doubt. Um, if there is one thing completely un unbelievable, it's how often this little shit gets to date outside of his league. But... Seeing his actions, insecurities, mistakes, and regrets makes it insanely relatable. Uh, it's a series that I looked forward to with every single release, every couple of months when it dropped one. The suspense around the identity of the one who saved him, coupled with the retelling of his checkered love life, flowed seamlessly into imagination in a way only a manga with such a realistic and believable premise could. In some instances, you deeply connect with and feel for Serizawa. In other cases, you may get angry at his actions. It's really an emotional roller coaster that makes you feel as if you're part of its world. Forget Me Not is well written, well paced, and keeps you coming back every release, um, you know, for the next volume. Um, despite all the good I've said, though, there is some bad. There usually is. 
As mentioned before with dating out of his league, it takes away from the surreal experience of the manga. Some of the women he happens to get with are pretty up there. Um, you, you couldn't see them dating a guy like him at all. But, but in any case, you know, plus while the story is immersive and well written, at times it can feel like it drags in places it shouldn't drag. Sometimes they spend too much time on, on one heroine or, you know, something along those lines. Uh, the worst part of this whole series, though, is most definitely the ending. It's a jumbled mess of plot lines prepared to grant closure to the reader, but it falls short of taking the extra few pages to do so. It's the kind of ending that splits the crowd in a bad way. Half will say, hell yeah, it was great, it's a perfect ending. The other half will say, oh, it fucking sucked. It was awful, I fucking hated it. I wish it would die in a fire. I resign in the latter half. I absolutely fucking hated the ending. And as I'm sure you can tell by this point, I've done a lot of talking up to this manga. Uh, up until now, of course. And I do love it, I swear to God. But that ending just fucking angered me. On a whole other scale. I had a similar experience with Koei no Katachi, which is a silent voice. I loved the journey to the ending, but hated, with a fiery passion, the ending. The difference being the mannerisms with which each was delivered. While manga like Koei no Katachi are well-paced, short-lived stories, it almost feels as if Forget Me Not was paced up until the last few chapters, towards the end. Like it may have been a cancellation, possibly. It doesn't feel like that was meant to be the climax of the manga. At the same time, it does indeed bring the manga's events to a full circle and closes with what can only be described as a, uh, what the fuck, but totally predictable moment. Mind you, I don't dislike the manga. Quite the contrary. I just love it still. I mean, as mentioned before, Koei no Katachi and a ton of other manga have a similar vibe, ending, experience, whatever you want to call it. And despite all that, I still hold a large place in my heart for them. Another example of that would be, say, Sankaria, a series that was unique in its presentation and plot with a horrid, horrid bonus chapter that brought the series to a close. The only difference being with the other two, this wasn't a bonus chapter. And those endings angered me on equal footing with this one, likely due to my emotional investment because of how good the series actually were. But the main question is, what is my opinion on Forget Me Not? In truth, the good far outweighs the bad. Despite my pure, unadulterated, burning hatred of a thousand suns for the aforementioned ending, I truly enjoyed the ride every step of the way. The story's gripping and interesting, and it keeps you reading from start to finish. In fact, the last series I felt this way about was likely Koei no Katachi, A Silent Voice, which I bought in its entirety and binge read over the course of a single weekend. Or, uh, not even a single weekend, I think it was one night. One night I read all seven volumes. But all in all, they say it's not the start, or the destination that's important, but rather the journey. And this manga has the journey covered in spades. Um, I'm giving the Forget Me Not series an above average rating for its honest portrayal of bittersweet romances and regrets, but what holds it back from a must-read spot is its lackluster half-hearted ending in the final volume's pacing issues. Uh, if it's the journey, I'm sure Sarakawa's been through enough already. We'll still go ahead and give him the benefit of the doubt, though. But don't take my word for it, of course. Go read for yourselves. If you have read for yourselves, comment down in the comments section. Tell me what you thought. And in addition, if you have actually seen the um, the drama series, the TV drama, I would love to hear what happens, what's different if you've, if you've seen both of them, if you've read this and uh, also seen the drama. I'm having a hard time finding the drama on any available streaming sites or anything like that. So, yeah, comment down in the comments section. Let me know how the drama differs. Let me know if the ending is different. Let me know if... Uh, it goes further and things like that. Uh, for those of you who may have read the, the novel, if you've read the novel, also comment down there. I need to know because I want to read the novel as well um, to try to see if it's, uh, if it's a little different. Um, but yeah, so in any case, comment down in the comment section. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it. And of course, subscribe. We are always making videos and we've got a couple of new things coming, including a new show. We'll get to that shortly. Um, not, to, not today, but you'll, you'll just stay tuned and you'll hear more about that later. Um, but yeah. We're, we're always doing stuff, so please, if you'll enjoy what we do, feel free to stay behind, click that subscribe button, and keep up to date with all of our new videos and releases and everything like that. So, yeah, we've got, uh, we've got more parodies coming. It's been a while since we released the last one. I think it was maybe back in January. So, yeah, we've, we've been rather busy. I've been doing a lot of writing uh, on different things. We've been working on a lot of different series, some that failed, some that will succeed. Um, but we will definitely be putting out a lot of material, so if you enjoy what we do, or if you're interested to see where this channel goes, please feel free to subscribe, and uh, we'll go from there. In the meantime, 
If you get bored of your world, feel free to leave and join ours. Peace, guys.